You know what I you know what I'm amazing that we were able to do 57 episodes <laughs> and you know what I think maybe we're gonna have the first uh, drawing let's do that should we do a drawing right now let's do a first drawing right now let's do it so it's for a Mark and Tony t-shirt who were the first guests on episode number one of the Mark and Tony show I'll give you a hint one of the people are here sitting in our audience and it's a female how about a hint? Uh, her first name would be, or her last name would be King. What would the first name be, everybody? Christy. Excellent. Christy King was our first right. guest, and she's wait. Christy, stand up. Just stand up. You are a pay. That's right. Yes. Pay attention. All right. She now. was our first guest on our first episode, along with Phil Filipiano, who is oh, not here. Oh, thanks today. for giving it away. Oh, whoops. Well, he's not here. I swear to you, I can't take you anywhere. <laughs> you know, I, I lost you for a year, and you're back. And I'm already stepping right, on my toes. I'm back right where we left off. <laughs> Go ahead, Tony. The floor is yours. All right. By the way, I, I have to make a comment. So this morning, I was getting ready. Got my hair cut yesterday. Trying to look as good as I can. I used to look pretty good in that picture, but I've aged a little bit. So I'm putting my clothes on. I'm thinking, I go, wonder what Mark is going to wear. Yeah. And I thought about it. I go, it's going to be Here hot. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt. I'm wearing a lightweight jacket. I wonder what Mark is going to wear. But when he got here, I asked him, what time's the wedding? <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Well, you know. You know, black is the favorite color, so we're going to start with that and continue from there. You just never know, Tony. The man, the man does not The mystery sweat. is to know. Yeah, I do. Trust me. All right, man. But anyway, we want to thank Gus and the Babalu staff for doing the best job they can. Being that this is our first time out here, we didn't realize how big of a menu was going to turn out to be, how big of a crowd. And we really appreciate everyone being here today. And we apologize if there was some moving around with some seats and things. We'll work it out. In fact, you know what? When we do this again next month, we might have to stretch it out a little bit. All right? Gus, we're going to have to move inside. First, Gus. <laughs> Gus, I think we're going to take over the whole restaurant next time. Do you mind? By the way, I did tell Gus one thing. Yeah, okay, Gus. Hey, I, I made right. Gus an offer. I said, I want to buy your restaurant. I want to buy Sundays only. Perfect. <laughs> and we're in for Sundays only. Thank you, Gus. All right, folks. Number one Billboard Smooth Jazz artist, please welcome Mr. Will Donato. <laughs>
see if you sing as good as you look. All ready? All right, the band, we're going to do what we call a setup. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, I'm an honest man, cancer survivor. Can I get an entertainer and say that was weak? It's all right, God bless a little. All right, ladies, show them how it's done. So much charisma, Mark and Tony. Thank you, brother. Mark, you thank you. Mark, you've never looked better. Tony, I love you. Well, we thank you. Welcome to Babalu Lounge and Gastro Pub, specializing in Cuban and Peruvian flavors. Here at Babalu, we want to provide the most authentic, multicultural dining experience that Palm Desert has to offer. We take ideas from cuisines around the world. Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Caribbean, and African flavors have heavily influenced Cuban and Peruvian food throughout history. And the same goes for us here at Babalu. And check out our website for weekly entertainment. Become a part of the family and enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tim Burleson. Yeah. Let me put the song Tell me when would you be mine? Tell me quando, quando, quando we could share the love divine. <laughs> oh my darling, tell me when. Tell me when. Say yes to me. Never do to me. Tell me quando, quando, quando. You'll be happiness to me Oh my love, please tell me when I thought you were going to play a little bit Every moment's a day Every day seems a lifetime Let me show you the way Joy beyond compare I can't wait a moment more Tell me quando, quando, quando 
Say it's grief that you would join And then I'll be tell me when For the wedding, okay? Forget well, but you're the one he proposed to. So you had to call this mic. I had to call this mic. You know what? It's time for uh, <laughs> it's time for a break. I gotta take this guy out back and spank him a little bit. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not you, him. Wow. That's even worse. So you're gonna be performing a great song, by the way. <laughs> okay, I'll be at the Indio Lockup uh, Wednesdays, <laughs> Thursdays, and Fridays. Thursday I'm at Chef George. We're having a lot of fun at Chef George. Yeah, Chef George. Thursday. Fridays, I'm at Enzo's and Rancho Mirage. We're having a lot of fun over there, too. And we, uh, Saturday is the West End Mission here. Before we uh, move on to our next guest, there is a few people that are very dear to my heart, and I want to give them a little recognition, even though I'm, all of you are dear to our hearts. We, we're so, so happy that you're here with us today. But uh, there's a couple other shows that I'm involved in, and I'd like to acknowledge those folks that are here today. Uh, number one, I want to acknowledge Will Steph Wilson of California Limelight. Tony Zaccoli of Manjin Music with the Tonys. Hop along Stugats, which is very close to my heart because I happen to be Stugats. All right? <laughs> Sonny Melosi, our director. Steve Tangy, photography. Thomas Bruno as the notorious Blackie. Chuck Davidas as Sheriff Chuck. Tony Zaccoli as Todd McCoy. Mike Phillips as Rocky. Mike D'Angelo as Handsome Harry. <laughs> Robert Ardolino as Dino. Bill Beck as the Marble Man. Robbie Anderson as a TV station producer. Rich Gilgallen as Gil Richards. <laughs> and Christy Rucci as Dallas, who unfortunately can't be with us here today. I'm sure she's walking around in slow, taking selfies of herself. <laughs> and there's one very special person I'd like to acknowledge. <sighs> My lovely wife, Franny. Love you, honey. Listen, big thank you to Jan Atlas, man. All right? I mean, come on. I mean, we were worried about getting 20, 30 people over here. All right? <laughs> Unbelievable. All right. Our next guest, the lovely Christy King. So 
Christine Thank you, Christine. Great job. Fantastic job. Fantastic with that Thank song, you. by the way. Thank you. Why don't you let the audience know where you're going to be performing? Yeah. I don't want to take a lot of time, so the easiest thing to do is just go to christyking.com. I spell my name with a K and an I, so K-R-I-S-T-I. Christyking.com, and it, it's always right there. Every place I'm at, every event, except private parties, which I'm available for. Welcome to Babalu Lounge and Gastropub, specializing in Cuban and Peruvian flavors. Here at Babalu, we want to provide the most authentic, multicultural dining experience that Palm Desert has to offer. We take ideas from cuisines around the world. Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Caribbean, and African flavors have heavily influenced Cuban and Peruvian food throughout history. And the same goes for us here at Babalu. And check out our website for weekly entertainment. Become a part of the family and enjoy. Mr. Chip Miller, everybody, is a producer, a writer, director, Singer, teacher, and a mentor because he was the gentleman who kickstarted this career to get me to continue acting and gave me lessons. So, without further ado, everybody, please put your hands together for Mr. Chip Miller. So, we're not going to do the test today where you make me memorize and do the 10 different things. We're going to pass on that today. But what we are going to talk about are a plethora of different things you've done through your life. But the first thing we need to start with, I would love you to tell the story. This is an interesting story, by the way, everybody, because this gentleman you're going to know, his name is Nicholas Kobla. But I'm going to hand this microphone over to Chip, and Chip can give the feedback on this. Tony! Feedback as in... <clears throat> yeah, as in everything. <clears throat> yeah, um... I, I knew Nicholas Cage way back in 83, 84, and uh, we worked on a couple projects together, and, and then we just remained friends over the years. But about a year ago, a journalist from the New York Times contacted me and said he was writing a new book for Oxford Press about Nicholas's biography, and it was called When Coppola Became Cage, because that was Nicholas's original name, Coppola. He's related with Francis Ford Coppola, but some of you didn't know that. Anyway, the book just came out. It's doing really well. The reviews came out fantastic. Um, I'm featured in about 20 pages in the book, telling different stories of Nicholas and I. And I guess the one, since we've got a short time here, that I'll share with you is that, does anybody remember the rockabilly guy from the 50s called Gene Vincent, Pete Bapalula? Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Well, we were going to do Gene Vincent's life story because Nicolas Cage really wanted to play him. He was a big fan. So we bought the rights and uh, we put together this project and I invited a couple of actors to be attached to the project. They were all unknown. One of them was Tom Cruise, who was going to play Eddie Cochran. We had Prince, who was not yet signed as a singer, to play Little Richard. And we had Sean Penn to play Gene Vincent's guitar player. So here, and Nicholas Cage played Gene Vincent. So I went to Paramount Pictures and I spoke to the head of Paramount, whose name was Dawn Steele at the time. And I brought all these kids with me. And she loved the pitch and she loved the story, but she took me out in the hallway later and she said, Chip, I love the story, but I can't put money behind a film with all these unknown kids. Well, a year later, they all became major stars. So it's one of those things that the Hollywood doesn't often have foresight. So I'm very proud to continue to know Nicholas. We're working on something together right now, actually. And, uh, and the book, I recommend the book. It's a terrific read. Well, uh, thank you. Applause for him. So, Chip, obviously Chip is out here living in La Quinta. You also have your studio or offices in the L.A. area, too, correct? Yes. Burbank. Burbank. And Chip has been in this business. Well, you were also in the advertising business, too. You yeah, worked for okay. J. Walter Thompson. Thompson. Yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, a big competitor of mine, which was Foot Cone and Belding. Right. Um, so, so why don't you let everybody know how you got yourself started in this career? Because I also know you had a singing and writing partner, too. Yeah. Michael, Michael Reynolds. Reynolds. And you were considered the Irish and Scottish... Simon and Garfunkel, if I'm not mistaken. Why don't you let the audience know a little bit about that? Sure. I'll try and make it quick. I'll do a quick hop, skip, and a jump through my uh, career. Um, yes, I was a folk singer. I, when I came back from the service, I was in the military. I was working for the Monty Python show. And I came back to the States, and I formed a folk group, and we toured with Simon and Garfunkel for a while. Uh, when we broke up, I moved to Hollywood and to pursue my career in film and TV. And since I've been a film director, a screenwriter, and a producer, I've done several movies, a couple television shows, and probably over 255 music videos for MTV. Uh, I also do a lot of live concert specials, uh, and I like to work with a lot of local talent as well. I'm out here off and on between Burbank and Palm Desert and Laquita, but 10 or so years ago when I was actually doing a commercial, we were looking for somebody to play a particular kind of a role, and I had in my mind kind of senior Richard Gere. <laughs> so I asked the agent to send me a bunch of pictures. He sent me like 300 pictures. Nobody looked anything like Richard Gere except this guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Richard Gere. It, Richard it, Gere. It, it happened 10 years ago. I'm already a senior. <laughs> anyway, he did a great job. Yeah, he did a commercial. We became friends. We started doing some acting lessons together. And I'm very, very proud of Marcus Thank and you. all these accomplishments. And Thank you. It's terrific to see you again. I'm really glad to have you guys back together again, too. <laughs> this is a, a real treat for us to have Daniel Alexander with us here today. Please welcome her.
everybody know what you've been up to, where you're singing? Are you new to the Valley, not new to the Valley? I came here in 2019 and uh, helped open Eddie V's. I play piano. I still play Eddie V's. I'm there probably one night a week. I won't spell my name, it's too long, but you can go to their website at Eddie V's. There you go. And Daniel Alexander. I hope y'all come in. We got a nice little trio. Thank you for the invite and good luck. Thank you. Thank you so much. Everyone, on behalf of Marcus and I, thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you. And enjoy the rest of the, uh, the band's going to play a little more, right? Yeah, so everybody stick around. The party's not over. Hey, have a drink with us as well. That's right. It's time for Tony and I to have a cocktail. Welcome to Babalu Lounge and Gastro Pub, specializing in Cuban and Peruvian flavors. Here at Babalu, we want to provide the most authentic, multicultural dining experience that Palm Desert has to offer. We take ideas from cuisines around the world. Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, Caribbean, and African flavors have heavily influenced Cuban and Peruvian food throughout history. And the same goes for us here at Babalu. And check out our website for weekly entertainment. Become a part of the family and enjoy.